for the week of May 24th. With only two weeks of school left, Lauren's got your school news for the week. Thanks guys. Let's take a look at what our seniors will be up to this week. Monday is senior exam day, which is required of some seniors. On Tuesday, there is a second exam day, followed by a sign out, which is required for those who took exams. Nothing on Wednesday, but on Thursday, all seniors are required to go to the stable between 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. Also, senior surveys are due by Thursday. Friday at 9 a.m., there is senior breakfast and ride out, which is required of all seniors. Finally, we will have our two graduation ceremonies, one at 5 p.m. and one at 8 p.m. Don't forget to check out pcglick.com and click on the Senior tab for a detailed look at the calendar and any future updates. Thanks, Lauren. I don't know about you, Liz, but I already miss our seniors. For sure, but Hannah has a sign-off for our graduating Mustangs. Hey, Mustangs. As this year comes to a close, we have to say goodbye to this year's seniors, the class of 2021. Before they go, let's share some of their favorite moments from their time at PC. My all-time favorite memory in high school would have to be being a part of the forensics team my junior and senior year. I found that it was a super fun activity and I loved being a part of the team. I'd have to say that one of my all-time favorite memories from high school would be hosting a going away party for our French intern, Madame Thompson, my sophomore year. Um, she was a really, really sweet person. And so we all organized a day just to have snacks. I brought like some fun party hats um, and we all just hung out together and reminisced over like our time with her and it was just a really sweet memory. Some advice that I would give to underclassmen is to get involved. That's how you make friends and that's how you make memories. My advice to any underclassmen is to get involved as much as you can. I spent the first two years of high school not really doing much and I look back and I wish I can go back and do more things but if you have a club that sounds interesting or an activity just go and do it. Even if you don't know anyone in it, you'll make friends, I assure you. Well, that's all for this week. Have a great week and stay safe. Best of luck to our seniors. It's time for our weekly athletic section. Off to you, Andrew. Thanks, gals. They shoot and oh, trust me, they scored. Hey, Mustangs, it's Andrew, and it looks like this is a smashing success of a season for soccer. Let's kick things over to Emily here to assist with women's soccer. Thanks, Andrew. Hey there, Mustangs. It's Emily Rose with your athletic news for this week. Last week, our women's soccer team competed in their SMAC tournament at Gull Lake. Here's an interview with Olivia Brody. How do you feel going into the SMAC tournament? Um, I'm really confident. I think we have a really like close-knit team with like, a lot of talent, and I think that we'll be pretty successful as long as we just play as a team. What improvements do you think your team has made? Um, I think we've done a lot of team bonding, which is important, and um, it helps you get to know everybody better off the field as well as it shows on the field. There you go, now go. How do you feel playing through an entire season this year compared to me not being able to play at all last year? Um, it's actually it's so much more fun. It's so sad, like having to think about all the memories that we miss, and so this year we're just trying to like make up all those moments and stuff. So. Thanks for the insight, Olivia. Remember to go out and support your women's soccer team. That's all for this week. Back to you, Andrew. Thanks, Emily, for that terrific play-by-play. -play. For more information about teams, check out PCMustangSports.com. Now, I'm passing the ball back to you in the studio. Thanks, guys, and remember to cheer on your team. Your marching Mustangs are getting ready for their upcoming season. For more on that, let's head over to Lexi. Thanks guys, this is a very exciting time for our Ported Central marching band. They have been working day and night for their new show coming out called Home Sweet Home. They have also been working on learning new music for their band camp in August. Let's talk to Rhea Bastian for more insight on the matter. Hello, my name is Rhea and um, this is going to be my fourth year of Color Guard. I was also a captain, which was technically uh, last season. What, how are we managing COVID? So for COVID, all of us are required to wear masks at all times, except at least for color guard when we're in a block and um, we're all facing forward, we're six feet apart and we're not talking to each other. That is the only time we can take mask breaks. Other than that, if we take a water break, we have to wear a mask um, just to protect ourselves and others. So what are May rehearsals for? Um, May rehearsals, they are, um, they were put in place because our normal hours for August band camp were cut super short because of COVID, like by several hours each day. 
So we put in some rehearsals in place um, to get the basics out of the way uh, so that we're more prepared for uh, August band camp. Definitely the biggest accomplishment in my opinion is just the fact that we're able to join and be together and actually perform uh, a, sh a full show because a lot, a lot of schools are not even doing their marching band program this year uh, or last year especially because of COVID. So we're really, really privileged in that right that we even get to do a, a show at all. Um, so that's definitely a huge accomplishment and the fact that we can do a full show. That's really cool. Thank you, Rhea. Back to you in the studio, Audrey and Liz. We're excited to see the show. Thanks to the vaccine, the CDC has new guidelines on masks. Parker has more information on that. Thanks, guys. On May 14th, the CDC officially declared their mask mandate no longer mandated. States shortly began to follow their announcement, not requiring masks in indoor and outdoor settings, as long as the people are vaccinated. And on May 15th, Governor Gretchen Whitmer officially announced that masks were no longer required among vaccinated customers, as long as the business or environment allowed it. So what do our Mustangs think about these new rules? Let's check in with a Mustang on the matter. Well, are you vaccinated and when did you get vaccinated? I am vaccinated. I got my second shot on May 5th, so it has been two weeks. So I'm like considered fully vaccinated by the CDC. What do you think of the new demandation? So I think that we also need to like do it slower, like demandate slower. Instead of like overnight, Whitmer was like, let's just take all, like just no more mask mandate. I think that like, yes, I believe in the science, but I think we can't just make this change overnight. Are you going to continue to wear a mask and why? I will continue to wear a mask like out in public. If I'm like in a situation where I cannot socially distant, if I'm shopping inside, I have a small group of friends and like, I haven't seen them in a while because of COVID and we're all fully vaccinated now, so that will make me feel a little more comfortable with seeing them. Well, there you have it. Sign up to get your vaccine today at Myers, Sam's Club, Walgreens, or anywhere else you can find. For more information on vaccines, head on over to vaccines.gov. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Parker. It's very exciting to see more smiling faces. That's all for this week, Mustangs. This has been Liz Crawford and Audrey Benneke, signing off. Um.